In this video, we'll look at using quadratic formula to solve for x given a y value in a word problem. So the word problem is, suppose the population is given by p at t, which equals 6t squared plus 110t plus 4,000, where p at t is the number of people and t is the time in years since the year 2000. When will the population reach 6,000 people? Okay, well I'll write my equation over here. Not that I really need to, but I like showing my work like this. And here's the key concept. I want to find out when will the population reach 6,000. The population is P at T. So I'm going to replace this population. Remember this whole thing is a Y value. This is the population at T. So when will this whole population, that's this expression, be 6,000? Sub in 6,000 for the Y value and rewrite the rest of the equation. And now get the equation all to one side. How do I do that? Subtract 6,000 from both sides and you get 0 equals 6t squared plus 110t 4,000 take away 6,000 is negative 2,000. Now I'm going to use quadratic formula. That'll solve this equation for me. You don't have to but I like to because I mess it up sometimes that's my A value, that's my B value, that's my C value. And remember, in this particular equation, it's not an X value, it's a T. So we'll use quadratic formula, but it's T equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared. There are videos on quadratic formula. B squared minus 4AC. You might want to watch those before this one. Make sure my fraction goes the whole way negative b squared plus or minus the square root I'm sorry, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Got my quadratic formula. So t equals negative b, that's negative 110 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 110 squared minus 4 times, what's a? 6 I'm going to extend that a bit more. 4 times a times c. c is negative 2,000 all over. And what's the a? 6. So 2 times 6. Put that in brackets. So t is negative 110 plus or minus the square root of, and I'm going to do all this math at once in here. What's 100, 110 squared? minus 4 times 6 times negative 2,000 and I get 60,100 I made my square root a little bit long there but better long than short. Short's a communication error. Long is fine. 2 times 6 I can do in my head this 12. Okay now I split it into two pieces. I'm going to this plus or minus, I'm going to split that into the two possibilities. Either t is negative 110 plus the square root of 60,100 all over 12, or t is negative 110 minus. That's the plus minus part. Now I'm splitting it into two all over 12. And now I'm going to solve. I'm going to put a rounding dot because I know I'm going to have to round here. What's negative 110 plus the square root of 60,100 equals, notice I hit the equal sign, then I divide by 12. And I get approximately 11.26. And then a t is approximately, now the negative version, negative 110 minus the square root of 60,100 equals, divide by 12, and I get negative 29. I didn't talk much about it, but I got around to two decimals here. I just chose two decimals. Go with what the test or the word problem specifies. Here I'm just defaulting to two decimals. So I have 29.596. And the 6 means round this 9 up. So that goes to a 0. Carry. So this rounds to negative 29.60. Again, 6 means round the 9 up which goes to a zero, which means this rounds to negative 29.60. It actually doesn't matter that much. I'm going to reject that one. I, 
I write the word reject or inadmissible because you can't have negative time in a word problem. So the only answer is going to be 11.26. T is the time in years. We're not quite done that, though. I'm going to put an arrow for the reader. The way work continues over here. I have to figure out what year it is. It's easy math, but you should show your work. Remember, the answer isn't 11.26. It's what year or when will the population. So to calculate the year, T is the year since the year 2000. So I'm going to do 2000 plus 11.26 which of course is 2011.26. But we don't talk about years with decimals usually, especially not in the context of this word problem. So I'll round to the nearest year, which is 2011. And finally, I need a therefore statement. The population will reach 6,000 in 20. 11. And now I'm done. I solved a word problem for the x value, in this case it was a t, given the y value, which was 6,000. How did we do it? We subbed that 6,000 into the equation for the y, the p at t, and then we got everything to one side so we could use quadratic formula, and the solutions to the quadratic formula, that is the positive one, the negative one we had to reject, that solution was the solution of how many years, or in this case what year, the population reaches 6,000.